Stop right there before you decide on hiring a graphic designer and paying hundreds or even thousands of dollars for a logo design, why not try and create one yourself using one of the best and easiest to use design tools called Canva. Well, today I'm going to show you exactly how you can create a free logo, professional logo in minutes using Canva and you do not need any level of design experience. Okay, so before we go ahead and launch into this Canva logo making tutorial, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that happy note out the way, let's go ahead and create a free professional logo for your business in minutes using Canva. <music> Okay, so to create a professional logo for your business, we're going to use Canva. Simply head over to your browser and type in canva.com or feel free to click the link in our description below this video and that's going to take you here. Now, if you currently do not have a Canva account, simply navigate over to sign up for free and create a free Canva account. For those that already have a Canva account, we will meet you inside Canva. Okay, so here we are inside my Canva account. Now, for the purpose of today's tutorial, I'm using Canva Pro. However, you can still follow this tutorial using Canva's completely free plan. You can still create a professional logo inside Canva using their free plan. You will just have limited access to premium templates, elements, images, and other features, which we'll talk about in this tutorial. However, Canva also generously offers a 30-day free trial with their Canva Pro, their paid plan. And you can see if Canva Pro works for you, you can always cancel within 30 days and you will not be charged. Okay, now for those that are completely new to Canva and want to learn how to make the most out of all the different features that Canva has to offer, then what I'll do is add a beginner's tutorial up above and down below in the description that will help you get the most out of Canva. Okay, so to create a logo, what we're going to do is navigate up to search your content or canvas and type in logo. Then navigate down and click on logo here. And the size of the logo that we're gonna create is 500 pixels by 500 pixels. However, you can change the size at any stage and I'll show you how to do this later on. Now, if we navigate down here, you can see that Canva has generated over 60,000 logo templates that we can choose from and then customize the way that we like. This is one of the great things about Canva is you can simply choose a professional custom template and then customize that template the way that you like. Now it's important to note that if you see a logo template or a image, video element or a feature that has this little pro icon, this crown icon, that means only Canva Pro subscribers will be able to use that template template that feature that element for free. If you're using Canva's free plan, then make sure that you select a template that does not have a crown icon like this template over here. Now, if we navigate over to the left hand side, we can select from these options to filter through the different logo templates. We can also navigate down to style and select the style that we're after, as well as the theme feature and the subject down here, as well as topic. And there's other filter types too, like color and grade. However, what we're going to do is navigate up to create a blank logo and choose a template from within Canva's designing interface. Okay, so as you can see, we have a blank template over here. What I'm going to do is navigate over to design. And as you can see, we have templates selected over here. If we navigate up to search logo template, I can search for a specific template that I'm after. For example, let's say that my business is in media, then what I could do is type in the keyword media and then hit enter. And that's going to generate a bunch of templates related to the keyword I typed in media. And what I can do is navigate through these different designs. For example, I can click on this design and each template, each design could have multiple versions that I could use and then customize the way that I like. I'm going to navigate back and then scroll up. And for example, I like the look of this logo template here. Then what I'm going to do is navigate down and click on add page because we want to have a few different concepts that we want to work from. And remember, you want your logo to be simple, minimalistic and sleek. I'm also going to select this template here. And again, I'm going to navigate down and click on add page. And I'm also going to click 
on this design here. So as you can see, I now have three potential logos that I wanna use for my business. Now, if I navigate up to the first page, I'm gonna go ahead and customize this logo. To do that, I'm gonna select this element here, which is a text element, and I can change the text here. So what I'm going to do is add Stu's Media. And I'm happy with that. Now, if we navigate up to the top, we have these formatting options available. We can navigate over to the font and change the font of our logo text if we like. We can also change the size and we can also change the color if we like. For example, we can select any of these pre-made colors. We can also create a color palette or we can simply navigate up to the document color and select custom color and add our custom color. Now, maybe you already have branded colors that you wanna use for your logo, then what you wanna do is add those colors in here. And then we can also navigate up here and we can use bold, italics, we can change the alignment and we have other options over here. Now, if we navigate down to this logo, you can see that we have another element over here. If I click on this logo element, we can navigate up to the color and again, we can change the color to our brand color if we like. We can also crop and flip this logo. Now with each of these different elements, you can drag and drop and basically place those elements where you like. You can also highlight all the elements and you can drag and make the elements bigger. So as you can see, I've grouped both of these elements. So if I make any changes, that's gonna make the change to both of those elements. If I just wanted to do it to one, I would just select that one element. So I'm gonna go ahead and align that, make that center aligned, I'm happy with that. And as you can see, just like that, I've created a simple logo. Now, I don't really like this logo, so what I'm gonna do is navigate down to page two, concept two, and customize this logo design. I'm gonna click here, and I'm gonna change the text to stews, and then I'm gonna click on the text element down here, and change this to media. And I'm happy with that. I'm actually gonna make this slightly larger by navigating up here, and I'm happy with 20, and I want this text element to be slightly higher, and this element over here. Now, some of these elements, you can change the colors like the element I showed you up here. We had the option to change the color. However, down here, we do not have the option to change the color of this logo. Now, what I can do is navigate over to elements on the left-hand side, and I can type in media, for example, and that's gonna generate media elements. I'm gonna go ahead and click on see all, and I don't really like the look of any of these, so I'm gonna navigate up here and type in logo next to media, and that's gonna generate some elements that I can use in my logo. Now remember, as you can see, most of these are pro, so you do need Canva Pro to use many of these elements. However, what you can do is sign up to Canva Pro and use some of these pro elements and create your logo, download your logo, and then you can cancel your Canva Pro plan within 30 days and you would have created a logo using premium elements for free. However, what you'll discover is Canva Pro is such a powerful design resource. And like us, you might wanna continue using Canva Pro for all your other different designs for your business. Okay, so I'm gonna navigate over to this element and go ahead and delete this element. And then I'm gonna use this element in here. That's gonna add the element. I can simply drag and drop that element. I can come down and rotate the image if I like. Now, what I can also do is add a background color to my logo by simply clicking on the background and navigating up to the color. And then down here, you can see that we have the photo color. This is gonna take the different elements on my logo and then create a color palette of those colors from that element. I can also navigate up to here and add my own color or I can add a default color. Okay, so this logo doesn't look good with any background colors, so I'm gonna leave it as white. Then if we navigate down to concept three, page three, I'm gonna go ahead and customize this logo by clicking on this element here. And as you can see, that is a text element. I'm gonna change that to stews, and I'm going to have to resize that element so that it fits, and I'm happy with that. So as you can see, it's incredibly easy to create a logo for your business. Now we can also navigate over to the left-hand side and we can also upload our own elements, our own images that we wanna use for our logo. And then we can also add additional text elements if we like. And again, we can add photos and images to our logo and we can also add a background. We can also navigate across and we can scroll down and I can come down and add another page and then navigate up to design and then come down and add a different template if I like. 
Now, when you're happy with one of your logos, you've finished customizing a template, you've created your ideal logo, then you want to download your logo. So what you would do is identify the logo. You can see that this is page two. Then you'd navigate up to share and then simply navigate down and click on download. Then make sure you have PNG selected. Then down here we have some Canva Pro options. So if you wanna download your logo with a transparent background, then what you wanna do is click here, transparent background. Again, you do need Canva Pro in order to use this feature. Then come down and click on all pages, unselect all pages and click on the page that you want to download. So I wanna download page two, which is the logo I'm after, and then simply click on download. Give Canva a moment to download your image. And as you can see, just like that, I've created and downloaded that logo. Now you can also resize your logo if you like by simply navigating up to resize and you can duplicate and resize this logo. However, again, you do need Canva Pro in order to use this feature. If you're just using Canva's free plan, then what you can do is simply copy your entire logo. So for example, you can see all these three elements are highlighted and then I can navigate up here, click the drop down, and come down and click on copy. Then we can navigate back to home and then head over to custom size over on the right hand side. And I'm gonna add 1000 by 650 pixels and then click on create new design. Then on this design, simply right click and then click on paste. And that's gonna add your logo. Then what you can do is simply go ahead and resize that logo. I can also click on each of the different elements and I can change the way that my logo appears. So as you can see, I can just simply drag and drop each of these different elements. And again, what I can do is simply navigate up to share and then go ahead and download this logo type if I like. And as you can see guys, it's as simple as that to create a professional logo for free using Canva. And there we have it guys, that is it for this logo making tutorial. Now if you have any questions about this process, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel. And that way I will see you in the next video. Take care guys.